Hey guys, so August is like sorta of done, which means that we're basically in the fall and it means that we need to go to school and do stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just need a moment. Just let that sink in. Alright, so throughout this month, I've been in a reading slump. I've had a creative block. I all of the slumps, all of the blocks once again. I just, I don't know. I can't do anything. I can't be productive. I can't be even bothered to be a human being. So this was a pretty bad reading month. But I did read five books, which is like a decent amount, I guess. I mean, they were sort of short, some of them, but I don't know. <laughs> just leave me alone. My brain can function. I'm just, I don't know. I started off the month by reading Silver Shadows, which is the fifth book or something in the Bloodline series, and I still don't have my physical copy. I pre-ordered it, and it's still not here. Yeah, I know. But I did read the ebook last month, technically, and yeah, it was great. It was my favorite book in the series! So far, I don't know. I don't know. I usually I'm really into less books in series, so I changed my opinion, but I loved it so much. Yeah, then, as I said, I finished the Maze Runner series and I'm proud of myself. Uh, so, I read The Death Cure, you know, it was good. It was good. It wasn't my favorite in the series, but it was my second favorite. It was good. I have a blog post down below uh, on the series and like plots, and it's I don't know if it's spoiler free, but I don't know. I just, I genuinely have no idea. And then I read this incredible book along with two of my friends, Julia from Love Fades Books here on YouTube, and uh, Rhea from at It's Okay Swift on Twitter. I'll link them down below because they are incredible. So I read this beauty along with them, and this is If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And, um, Foreman? What? Foreman. Gail Foreman. So yeah, I loved this book. It was probably the best of the month. I don't know. I also loved like the other books I read this month. It was a good month. But this was so emotional. It's so fast paced. I read it in a few hours, one sit, and I basically cried the entire time. This is about, in case you don't know, this is about Mia, this lovely girl who's a violinist something. Yeah, she's a musician. She got into Juilliard and she has a really nice life. She has a great family, some girl friends, an epic boyfriend, but her family and her get into a car accident like in the first few pages of the book. While her family dies, she's left alone in some sort of coma and we're presented some sort of out-of-body experience like if she chooses to stay or if she wants to cross over, you know, die, get reunited with her family. So yeah, we can see what her family are doing, like her grandparents, because they are left aunts, uncles, friends, friends of her parents, yeah, we see what they are doing and we basically see Mia making her decision and it's so beautiful and I, we read this because we thought the movie was theoretically coming out on August 22nd, that's the US release date. But it's taking forever to come out for us. Then I read Ocean and the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. First of all, can we talk about how beautiful this cover is? And like, let me show you the naked book. Oh, so pretty. I just can deal with it. Oh, so 5 out of 5 stars. It was my first Neil Gaiman book. I get the hype. He's brilliant. He's writing the style. His story, his characters. I'm in love. I suggest going into this not knowing. I basically just sort of read the back and yeah this is incredible if you know nothing about this it's a man just going back to where he grew up and remembering some things and it's just so good it's so good um ellie from um a book affair is in love with this book and i think regan from first project also mentioned it i don't know it's it's really hyped i think 
I mean, Neil Gaiman is a really hot author, but this book is so good, and I really recommend it. I loved it, and it, oh my god, just pick this up, please. And I finished off this month with sort of an okay book. It was a classic. It's Catherine de' Medici by Honoré de Balzac. I, I don't do French. I don't. In this edition of books, look, look, it's gonna fall. Literally, what? What? I tried sticking them, not working. Literally picked up the book off my shelf. Nobody read it. I asked, I asked my mom about it. Bam. Fallen pages. Lovely, right? Um, this is a historical fiction. It's about Queen Catherine de Medici of France and Mary Queen of Scots and Francis II after the death of Henry the Second, Fourth. I'm not even sure. Um, this is Catherine from Brain. If you watch the show, yeah, this book is like about conspiracy and stuff. It was sort of good. I like Honoré de Balzac's writing style, sort of, but it was also really slow paced. I don't know. Yeah, it wasn't a fun read, but yeah. So those were all the books I read this month. I know it's sad, but I. There's nothing to do about it. I hope I'm gonna get out of this reading slump in September and we shall see. I also need to read some books for school, I think, so. There is that. Um, yeah, I will see you guys later with another video sometime. Stay awesome, have a great day, I love you, bye.